This week's episode of Dig Nation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Cashfly.com, and Suicide Squirrels. Small and hairy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dig Nation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have flies in your freaking house? I noticed it's this earlier. It's Southern California and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello and welcome to Dig Nation episode number 53. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Dig Nation covers some of the weekly top stories off the social news website dig.com. That's D-I-G-G.com. That's right. And as you can probably tell, we're in Los Angeles. What's wrong? Don't, got, I have, have flies. flies in your in house, In Southern man. California and I have fruit. Yes. <laughs> and now you know why I have so many fruit flies. Yes. It's nice being back in LA, isn't it? Uh, yes, actually it is. I'm you glad me? to be here. Nice cool breeze, my apartment. It, Vegas was hot, so I spent the 4th in Vegas. Ah, uh, yes, and that's it right. And uh, it was like 107. Okay, and, that's uh, very hot. It's very hot. That is very hot. Yeah. I spent the 4th uh, the in Newport Beach. Did you do any fireworks? You know, I didn't. I heard a lot. There was a lot of fireworks going off, but I didn't personally do any. The safe and sane stuff has gotten <clears throat> so crappy. The like, s- what? Safe and sane, like the stuff, the legal stuff. They call that safe and sane? Yeah, safe and sane. Okay. It's like the legal stuff that you can buy. It's so crappy, Some though. Some of them are cool, though. Like, you little guns that you can shoot at people. You can modify the whistling, uh, the Piccolo Pete's. You take a hammer Piccolo and you Pete's. hit the, the ones that whistle. Do you remember, uh, what were those called? Jumping jacks? Is that what no, the flowers. No, jumping jacks. Totally different. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> you know the ones called jumping jacks? You mean flowers? No, no. jumping jacks. <laughs> you can modify the, the if, you, if you take a hammer and you hit the end. Of the Piccolo Pete? Piccolo Pete. Then you light it, it'll whistle, and then blow up at the end. Little modifications. That's great. Yes. Learn it here, folks. Don't now try that. go though. forth and blow no, your hands no, off. No, no, no. Per Kevin Rose's request. No, that was, uh, um, shouldn't do that. Uh, actually, some guy recognized me on Newport Beach. I was ah. sitting on the back patio. What do you say? Some that... beers. And I was talking about uh, going to the, the Craigs and all the stuff, and I was like, wow, I got to shoot Dignation, blah, 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 blah. And this guy goes, Alex, Alex. And he was run, walking by with his wife and this little baby in a stroller. I was like, hey, what's going on? And he was like, Dignation. Oh, that's cool. And then he walked by, and uh, my friend Chad was like, who was that? And I was like, no idea. It seems happens. like a nice guy. You're an internet celebrity. I am. Which is one step above porn star. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it's one step below porn yes. star. <laughs> uh, uh, beers. Now you don't know much about these beers, and neither do I. But these were actually the first. These are the first beers that were sent FedEx to us oh, from Arkansas. Well, we've got some weird ones for next week's show. Yeah, we got. Yeah. We got. We've been getting lots of beers, lots of really cool stuff. Actually, Sarah Rose. Sent us, uh, we met No Sarah, relation to me. No relation to Kevin, although, well, no, no relation to Kevin. Try. But uh, uh, we met Sarah actually at the live, at the one year anniversary. Mm-hmm. And um, <clears throat> she sent us these really cool, uh, I don't even know what you'd call them. They're oh, like uh, names and it says Dignation, but it's sort of like It's like a weird, metal nameplate uh, thing. I don't know how she made it. Very interesting, super cool. I don't know how she made them. Yeah, Sarah, email us at dignationfans at gmail.com and let us know how you made those things because that, yeah. that was really cool. But um, And chocolate? She, she said chocolate? Picture. Chocolate to you, yes. not to me. Thank you, Thank Sarah. You for the dark chocolate. I like milk chocolate next time they're sending. <laughs> Just sang, felt a little, you know, shafted. Card was a nice cool card, too. yes. But uh, but these were it was not a gift card. But these are uh, these are Diamond Bear Brewing Company's Pale Ale, uh, and this is from Little Rock, Arkansas. And this was sent from uh, I think he's an Air Force guy. I'm really sorry because I, I it was a while back that I got them, mm-hmm. so I don't ha- I, I I lost the uh, letter that the guy sent. Mm-hmm. But um, he had actually sent us an email. Send us another email, bud, because I feel bad that I don't that we didn't give you a shout out. Uh, on here, but we know that you're there and we love you. And these are actually damn good beers. Yes. We've been drinking before the show. It's really unfortunate, but yeah. it happens. So, first story, you're up. Let's get going, shall we? Rocket Boom losing the boom. 1,546 people dug this story, submitted by Rudy Galicticast. Rocket Boom, the most popular video blog. Whoa. Hey. Covering internet news has a let go its charismatic star anchor woman Amanda. Is that Kongdun? Kongdun? Kongdun. 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 
Anyway, uh, she has posted her own video giving information on what happened on her own unboomed website. Uh, I'm hoping she gets it going with her own thing, her writing performance and personality uh, were the best part of the show. So here's the deal. Nobody really knows what happened. All of a sudden, Rocket Boom, because there were two guys. It was the, Amanda was the host chick. Right. And then the other guy. There was a guy that was, and they were like partners, and I don't know, I sort of thought they were married for a while. I don't even know if that's true. PR stunt? Could be a PR Could stunt. Be. We should do that. We should. <laughs> <laughs> Although now it's everybody would know it would be a PR stunt. <laughs> Kevin Rose, fired from Dignation. Fires back with Dignation. I don't know, whatever. But anyway, the bottom line is, is that the, the guy who was her business partner said that she wanted to move to L.A. and that right. he wasn't going to move to L.A. so that he's going to continue going in New York. And then she posted a video blog that basically said, F that guy, I got fired. So you think it's over? Because she was the show. <laughs> she was. Oh, she totally was the show. All she has to do is sit in front of a map and, do, and call it whatever. Rock, it's called Rocket Boom, for fuck's sake. She could call it Kakapoo. And people would still watch. Yeah, she Nobody could do watched her own it thing. because of Rocket Boom the name. It doesn't mean anything. I wonder if they could come after her for rights. She probably didn't sign anything, though. What rights? I can't sit in front the of a concept map of the and show, do news? though, right? Can I guess? Well, well there are I don't contracts. Know. Well, but did they have contracts? Probably not. Well, but supposedly she said that she owns forty nine percent of Rocket Boom, and the oh. guy owned fifty one percent of Rocket Boom, and so therefore he just was like, "Yeah, we're gonna get a new co or a new host." And I wonder who the like, new host is gonna be. I don't know who they could get that would ever fill that shoes because it was very unique. Like she had a, a well, I never kind of watched great, the show. Really? I, say. I never watched I was, the show. I only watched probably two or three of them, but it was it was pretty good. I did see her on CSI though. How was that? Mm -hmm. She played as internet person very well. But uh, anyway, so we're still we're gonna you know keep our eye on what's gonna happen with that. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully, uh, she gets back on her feet. I mean, you know the. The internet community is sort of really close knit, even though I've never met her or anybody closely resembling her. Um, but I got, dude, I got an email, I got a text message from Dr. Tiki who was drunk last night at like ten five a.m. That's awesome. And the text message just said, "Happy Fourth, where you at?" Woo! That's awesome. And unfortunately, I was nowhere near where I could actually did Lala spring into action. Lala send me? I don't know. Yeah. We'll see. Next story, Microsoft Excited. censors MSN Messenger. 1,590 people dug this story submitted by Babbling. Microsoft filters out any MSN messages containing download.php or gallery.php. The messages are silently discarded without any indication that, given that they have been blocked. To see a list of the legitimate URLs that can, are now unable to be sent through MSN, put all in title colon download.php into Google. Uh, many are free software downloads. So here's the deal. Yeah. You're on MSN. Yep. Chatting with a friend. Yep. Certain things that you say yep. are blocked. Okay. That sucks. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, that's it. That basically, if you type in download.php and you hit enter <laughs> into MSN Messenger, it will not send the message to your friend. I don't know why. Why? I, there's like, I don't know if there was a hack for something. I mean, obviously, PHP files are executable yeah, server yeah, side scripting yeah, files, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. But like, I, I don't know if. if these were some hacks that were happening on MSN, and people were hmm. exchanging URLs back and forth. My guess is that it had something to do with a bot. There was probably a yeah, bot, bot that was like, like spam, harvesting, spam that was going yeah. out and harvesting these different URLs and finding vulnerabilities, and then sending them to different people. And this is a way to block the bot activity because it's censoring I don't the URL. Like, I'm gonna say I don't want any. I know. I, I don't want anything censoring anything I do because otherwise I'm not gonna use it. Like if Gmail came out and was like, well, you can't send. You well, know, they did. Well, they do with the EXEs. Right, and they did. And even zips with EXEs in them. Which is lame. That's ridiculous. I know. Recoculous. Recoculous. Thank you very much. That is recoculous. One step up. That is one step up. I mean, I don't want anything censoring what I'm doing. Otherwise, why would I use it? You know what I mean? Like, if I'm using Trillium, well, who I uses them? MSN Messenger? No one. No one does. Well, people at Microsoft because they're forced to. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, those poor anybody? people. That... I, I have it on my, my Adium just because, like, I know like two people that just won't change. And it's like, Ooh, like my on. mom. Like, well, you know that's what I mean? different. Yeah. It's like those They're like, people... this, is where my, this is my internet service provider. Right. And you're exactly. like, no, it's not. Just but stop. you know, you can use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know who uses <laughs> MSN. Everybody's on AIM or, uh, well, not really many people on Gmail's whole thing. Oh, Google Talk? Fuck Google I Talk. I use it though. Google Talk in the A hole, that's all I gotta say. Are you kidding me? You use Google Talk? Well, I use it because Adium supports it, and I have a couple friends that are like, Google's cool, and so. Well, that's you, that's you know what that's what we call peer pressure yeah, no. and seriously that's ridiculous
ridiculous. Yeah. And I mean ridiculous. It's not quite up to ridiculous. <laughs> All I'm saying is, is that that's stupid. So we will move on from that. I don't think Microsoft. anybody cares. No one's going to use them. Well, here's the thing. Is Messenger how many people Live? are using it? What? You seen that? Messenger Live? No, what's that? The new kind of MSN Messenger coming out with Vista. It's going to have... Uh, Connect to Xbox Live? No. <laughs> I might, maybe. It probably will. Probably Everything with Vista connects yeah. to Xbox Live. That would be cool. Dude, did, have you played per, the Prey demo or the, um, what was it, well, uh, Lost Planet demo? Dude, before you, you leave. Know? Because we were playing it while you were uh, waiting for you to show He goes into up. my room and turns on my Xbox 360 and I like, download it. Dude, you bastard. I have the highest score on <laughs> Geometry Wars now over you, you cock succulus. Because I have Keith, he played because my freaking he played idiot Savant system. Keith, dude, and the best was the best was I guess Dan from Geek Drum mm -hmm. put out like a jihad on 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 his Geek Drum account, like try to beat the G, the Geek Drum account on on uh, on on uh, Galaxy Wars. As soon as Keith finished getting one point six one five million points. Right? Dude. I get a phone call from Dan that goes, You motherfucker. Oh, dude. You beat me on the thing. And I was like, I did. It was Keith. And dude, he was like, you, you Oh, you got to play man. mine, dude. Yeah. You can play mine as often as you want. Dude, he was rocking. But he said it's because of the bigger TV and the surround sound. No. The surround sound? Surround sound. It's Geometry Wars. Dude, There's little guys shooting each other. You hear the triangles behind you. That helps you. <laughs> I'm saying. Because the triangles are like, Triangle, triangle, triangles. They come up behind you. And you can hear that shit. No, you can't. You can't hear it on two panels. It's, it's a fun way to piss your friends off, though. I went to my friend Jack's house and I got the highest score. And, like, I doubled his score on Geometry Wars and he's pissed because he can't beat it. Now it's like, you know, it the just sits score. there. And yeah. all it says is, Kevin, when he looks at it. It's awesome. It is good time. So, anyway, um, Xbox Live. Yes. Let's move on. Good times. I don't know how that got in there, but we're going to do it. <laughs> uh, 2009 Camaro starring role slash Transformers movie exclamation point parentheses images. 824 people dug this story submitted by Vipeness. The 2009 Camaro will be the starring role of Bumblebee. Uh, this car is hot, hot, hot enough said. My question, wasn't Bumblebee the bug? Uh, yeah, on Transformers. The, yeah, it was the yellow bug. No, so they're making him a Camaro now? Wasn't Bumblebee the yes, yellow bug? Yes, Bumblebee was the bug. <clears throat> so why is he a Camaro now? I don't know. Well, first off... It's all about money. It's it is all about money. Oh my God! Does the 2009 Camaro look freaking awesome? Look at that car. That car screams sex. That car elicits blowjobs. Okay, <laughs> that's what this car does. Okay, here's the look deal. at this it's car. Real. It's Chevy. It's yes. crap. No, listen. Hold on. I just pissed off a lot of people. Hold on. No, you pissed. Dude, Kevin, you pissed off everybody that knows what a cool okay, car looks I shouldn't like. Say, I shouldn't say. And didn't even piss them off. They just went, oh, Kevin. No, no, no. It's, it's a cool car, but. You Look at that car. Okay, here's the deal. Look at that Can car. I yes, I yes. Mustang. Doesn't came, look. Hold on. The, the new Mustang came out. But, Let me, the new Mustang came out. It looked cool. Everyone's like, oh, cool new design. This is a great new Mustang. I went inside. I sat inside one. Jay rented one for a rental car because he was up in the I never Francisco. thought those were good cars. I sat inside. I, you know, you could knock on the paneling. It's all crap. It's plastic. It's jank, dude. They always cheap out in on the inside. It's just not, I don't know. It, it looks Look. cool. It looks cool. Yes, it's great. It's beautiful. It's going to be jank inside. Watch. When was the last time Chevy made something really good? Name a car. The Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> I don't know. The Chevy Supra. That's just, Toyota. Yeah. But all I'm saying is that this looks like it could be a great car. Right. The Dodge brought back the Charger horrible looking car. Right. Dodge brought back the, uh, what was the other one they brought back? Keith. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge brought back, uh, no, Ford <laughs> brought back the T-Bird and made it the freaking Femiest car on the market today. Even guys in Mazda Miatas were looking at that car like, no, that's a Femi car. That says something. So here's the deal, though, with this, this car. This car. This car is going to be twenty five thousand bucks, and then it'll be a piece of crap. Because you have to that charge might be like forty five or fifty might be true. for it, might be true. and then really make it a good quality car. I know, but now the one thing that now we digress. That is a great car, the two thousand nine uh, Camaro, if ever it comes out, whatever. But now we digress. Why would you not make Bumblebee a bug? I, I don't know. I mean, he's a bug. Is They're making... Okay, here's the thing. Making Bumblebee a bug, right? There was another... Hold on one sec. What was the other one? Maybe Bumblebee, Bumblebee a bug. Starscream is an F-22 Raptor, not an F-15. Uh, wasn't it an F-15? No, or an F-14. No, it wasn't a 14 Tomcat. It was F-16. No. F-15. No, it was 14. F-15. It, it was not a Tomcat. An eagle. It was an Eagle, an F-15. What's the difference? They have, like, the wings. 
Yeah, that's no. the big difference. Their wings. <laughs> and the F uh, all F the 14 same. had the retractable wings. Right. That's and so he gun. no, Top he gun. had retractable wings. He like, did not have yes, retractable wings. He was a fucking transformer. No, well, he his he wings could. turned into arms. So they're retractable. Not, that's not retractable. That's not retractable. Took Turning <laughs> wings into arms is different than the top. No, gun. it's not. If you can take your wings down and turn them into arms, as retractable wings. All right, but that's not the wings I'm talking about. All I'm saying is that it was 15 F15, but. F22, I get that. Update. Oh. It's the newest. Oh, oh, new MacBook, by the way. Um, I just It just shut off. <laughs> yeah, you know why? It's called a crap book, bro. There it goes. Oh, there it is. Good. Hit all the buttons on the keyboard at one time, and it turns back on. That's great. Uh, Optimus Prime. It's going to be a fire truck. No. Shut <laughs> up. He's a semi. <laughs> oh, you're lying, dude. You're lying. <laughs> He's not a fire truck. Optimus Prime is going, going to, to be, be a fire a truck. Fire truck. Oh man, what that is, is ridiculous. What is he going to do with the ladder? You can't put the ladder God away. God damn you, Michael Bay. He's going to have a ladder going over his back, and it's going to yeah. Is that his he, weapon? He, yes, he'll be like, "Where's the? We need to get up the wall, <laughs> Optimus." He'll be like, "I'll use the truck." With the oh, yes. trucks that were hunting the lions. Oh, that was the best. That that, was probably, yeah, that's that was what it's going to be. The, it's going to be fucking Starscream, and he's going to crane his thing, go wham, and hit him on the head. This is ridiculous. This is. Yeah. So shame on you, Michael Bay. Shame on you and your family. Next story. Next story. Casino refuses to pay jackpot. Winning is glitch. One thousand six hundred twenty-nine people dug the story. Submitted by Kula. Two men have hired. <laughs> <laughs> Two men. Two men have Discuss. hired a lawyer. And are threatening legal action against a Winnipeg casino, refusing to pay more than two hundred nine thousand dollars in slot machine winnings. This was an interesting story. Did you read it? Uh, no, but I'm very mm-hmm. upset that All right. that would happen. Here's the deal. You tell me whether or not they should have to pay. Okay. They installed some software, mm-hmm. uh, nickel slot type software. Mm-hmm. They clicked around, clicked, you know, were playing the slot machines. Okay. They won. But the payout indicator showed two hundred and nine thousand dollars, right? It said winner, 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 winner. Okay. The max the machine can pay out is like three grand. So like it was a glitch, it was a bug in the software. Should they have to pay or not? Five seconds. So the 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 machine said you won two hundred and sixteen thousand dollars. Here's three. I need an answer in five seconds, go. I think they can sue for that. I think they can sue for that. I would say if it's it a glitch, said, though. The max it can pay out is three thousand bucks. Rough. I know. Now, I, did it say on the machine max payout three thousand? Uh, somewhere in the terms of service. No, but I'm saying like if I walked up to a machine and it was like five nickel slots, max max winner. Yeah, I think it 3, does. 000, like the max that you can win. Basically, if it you said look at the the, no, if it said that yeah, the max this right. machine will ever pay out is three grand, and then I win I think they're not. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't think they have a case. No, I don't think they have a case. But if it didn't say anything, it just said you won twenty six thousand right. dollars no, or two hundred nine thousand or two hundred nine whatever the number is. Here's three thousand. Then I think they can be like, wait. But uh, dude, oh. online casino, you ever gonna see the money? No. Was it an online casino? I thought yes. it was a. It was online. It was an online yeah. casino. Over the browser, internet. Oh well, then they're just fucked. I'm surprised anybody gets paid from online casinos. Have you ever tried an online casino? I have not. Have you? I have. Yeah. How, how was <clears> it? <throat> Did you win? Lose? It was a long time ago. It was one of those <clears throat> things where there was a banner, and it was just like you know, get a hundred dollars. I clicked it. And they, they they make you download the software and then you play it and you're like oh, I could kind of win at this and then my friend's like oh dude I got this like I you know I know when to bet when to fold blah blah and he had this little chart and we tried it and we lost our money but that's a great chart yeah it didn't work a friend of mine's trying to write a program that will go on and win at uh, online poker nice Smart <laughs> Let me know dude. how that works out dude believe me you'll be the second third fourth person to know. Uh, next story, laid off employees asked to give back iPod gifts. 2,732 people dug the story submitted by Monkey Pop. National Semiconductors received a lot of press last month for announcing plans to give every employee a 30 gig video iPod as a reward for its best fiscal year. The company then laid a bunch of people off and demanded the iPods back Claiming they were just loners. Ah. Wow. This is ridiculous. Here's the deal. 
they obviously did this so that they could be like, look how great of an employer we are. We're giving everybody 30 gig yeah, iPods. Yeah, but National Semiconductor, this is a huge company. They let, laid off like, 35 employees, right, in a certain plant. It's not a lot. Not a lot. But now every single one of them said, we need back our iPods. And they were like, what are you talking about? Some of them sold them. Some of them oh, sell, gave them as this gifts. This is just ridiculous. I don't know why they, that's a bad PR move. Look at this. Yeah. This story alone. Yeah. I mean, look at the number of people that, how many dug it? Like over a couple thousand? It's like just At 2,700. 2,700 people. Yeah. And plus. Now, here's the guess. Here's the best part. Uh, uh, Luann Jenkins, who is a company spokesman, said they were not a gift, right? She said that in the wording, they said we were careful with the language and said that they were, um, oh God, what did they say? Equipping employees uh, with the widely popular media devices. Bad move, bad PR move. But how horrible is that? Because how much money are you making? Yeah, but you know, you, you know how. It's not much At, compared to national semiconductors. You, you know how mm. you are when you leave, leave a company, though. Like when you quit your job. Oh, you take everything you, take you everything can. Everything you can. If it's not bolted you, you, down, you yes. fucking take that. When you're shit. in your cube, I mean, dude, I have so much G4 oh, you crap even, in my dude, house. Dude, me too. I have like staplers and like remote controls for TVs I don't even own. Like yes. all these TVs all over the place. I just took a yes, bunch of remotes. Yes, and you just sprayed me with beer, but that's <laughs> all right. Sorry, you're sorry. animated. You're animated, yes. and I hear it. Yes. I hear it. You took a bunch of shit. I took so much shit. Remember Dan? Dan, <laughs> Dan pulled <laughs> processors Dan pulled out. Processors of out. <laughs> Dan was like, "I'll take so, that." So like the last the processor, Dan gets laid off at G four, and it, well, no, I should. We shouldn't tell him because G four watches. Yes, they do. Because we kick their ass every week. <laughs> no, you know I have to say one thing. No, Ken Prayer, awesome guy. Oh, dude, Ken Prayer. He's was, coming. I, I want him to drummer. come out tonight. He wants to come out and. Dude, like, can you yeah, tell him because he's a drummer, and I, I, I was just uh, playing a song that I wrote with uh, for uh, Joshua and his sister, and they were like, "Dude, you have to jam with Ken Prayer." Dude, he's awesome. I know. Like, seriously, like people I'm, thought we I know. hated no, no, each no. other. Kevin's awesome. Dude, guy. he was great. Even taking my place, it seemed nice. And um, good guy. <laughs> Next G story. G four sucks. Let's go on. He's Let's drunk. move on. He never says it. I'm always the one that says it. I know. It. You're always the one that says it. And I'm always like, that, dude, the best thing they could have ever done was fire me. But keep going. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. <sighs> Firefox creators, thoughts on IE7 and the future of Firefox. 2,073 people dug the story submitted by Az. Blake Ross was a teenager in 2002, and his fellow software developer, Dave Hyatt, launched the Mozilla Firefox project, a community-made web browser that has won devoted fans and taken market share from Microsoft's dominant Internet Explorer, stirring the Redmond company into action. This was a really cool interview. If you, I mean, honestly, there's like two stories every week that we talk yeah. about where we're like, hey, go check out this story. This is one of them. Uh, creator of Firefox talks about IE and like how they were battling it. <laughs> what? You said I. I. I got. I went to Ali I. G, went to Ali G mode. Yeah, it was good. Um, so basically, he's talking about how uh, they they weren't really there to like. They didn't create Firefox to kill IE per se. It was really just to kind of like. <laughs> what dude? You're starting to laugh. I know. Go on. It was. It was really just to kind of uh, you know make up for the fact that Microsoft didn't develop a browser for five years. Right. Yeah. yeah they yeah. created IE six and they stopped. Right. There was no, there was little patches, security updates, sure, sure, sure. but no new functionality. And so basically, he's saying like, yes, Microsoft is launching IE seven. Yes, it's cool. He actually says, I like it. I like the browser. Yeah. It's going to have tabs. It's going to be better. You know, this and that. But they're so far along in the next development cycle for the next version of Firefox that he's saying that you know they're a couple cycles behind as far as keeping up with uh, the Firefox. So when IE seven launches, you know, Firefox. Firefox will have its own you know version three or whatever. And uh, is it version three? What are they at one right now? They're one five. One. What is my browser at? Yeah, one five. Is it one five? One six. Hold on. Help. Which one is mine? About. <laughs> I'm at uh, one point eight. So two. When two comes out, it's no, gonna be no one five four. One five. Which one are you at? Tell me. Tell me your version. One point oh five. Uh, one point five oh four. I believe is my version. <laughs> Trunk ass. That's awesome. Oh, there it comes. I knew it was going to come out. He's been drinking. <laughs> all right. The finger's flying on the show today. All right, you're up. <clears throat> That's it? That's all you had? Uh, yeah, it was a good story. Well, here's my question. is Why Why is Tab such a, like, a groundbreaking <laughs> gun? Like, what the fuck is with Tabs? I mean, they're cool and all, but Jesus. I know. Everybody's dude. like, does it have Tabs? <laughs> 
I'm like, who cares? Well, I mean, it's cool, but it's like, so I don't have the tabs at the bottom of, the, of my window. I have them at the top of my window. It's and now so I'm true. somehow, like, mystified. It's like, tabs is this, where you're doing, like, shit down here, and you're like, well, look dude, at me, look 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 at me, What else do you have? Nothing. I don't care. They, they added tabs, anything. and they added... Look, at the end of the day, you're viewing web pages. <laughs> right, right. Period. Which people don't understand. Like Keith, that's it. Keith has like sixty. Dude, Firefox Keith sat down. He sat down at my computer and was like, where, "Where are all your extensions? I can't make this thing work." And I'm like, "It's a fucking. It's a web page, dude. It's a link. Has, it is text oh, yeah. with pictures." No, 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 no. He has to agree with usability. It's you. Well, no, I agree with usability. But here's the deal, Keith. I've been oh, oh, I've, I've been watching you. Wait, who Hold turned on. Uh -oh. Firefox? I did. Dude, I did. And I, I watched because Firefox I all said over. It was better and you decided to try it and you liked it. Yes. But here's the deal. You go into Keith's room, right? And he like he's like, I want to show you some shit. I want to show you some shit. And he like pulls up his web browser. He's got all these tabs going on and shit. And then all of a sudden the browser crashes. And he's like, No worries. I have an extension that auto recovers from this crash. And the extension like pulls shit back up and repopulates everything. And I'm like, Holy shit! And then he's like doing these crazy mouse movements where like he draws like. Yeah, I've seen that where he like, draws yes, the picture of he'll go draw back. like a picture of a chicken. He and like writes up, like IP chicken. It does, dude. He does. <laughs> See, that's awesome. Because I've seen him. He like writes go back a page and it goes back a page. No. <laughs> it's crazy shit. Anyway. My question is, dude, like, okay, again. settle. It's always hot. Uh, wherever we are. That's it. <laughs> dude, you're drunk. It's what we you're do. Right yeah, All I'm saying is, is that, like, I, I installed oh. um, Session Saver on this machine because we were doing something where I was like, oh, I got to have a Session Saver. Right. Blah, 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 blah. right. I had it set that it would always auto-recover. Uh -huh. And it pissed my girlfriend off because she was looking at a web page that had like super like 17 pop-ups and she kept just trying to close out of the browser and then open it back <laughs> up. And it kept reopening to that page and opening the pop-ups. And she was like, I can't. I don't know what but to do. But Keith knows the shortcut for that. You can just turn it off. I like this. <laughs> and it goes back. Oh, All I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, tabs are cool. But come on, people. Yes. It's a web page. My story. Uh, preventing camcorder movie piracy. 804 people dug the story. Submitted by Supernova17. Thompson's prototype anti-piracy system inserts extra frames into a movie that contains text or obscures the scenes. The frames flicker at a frequency imperceptible to the human eye, but picked up by the camcorders, That's thereby ruining cool. a bootlegged movie. So Thompson's, I guess, is some like British company that does a bunch of stuff. Or it's pa sorry, Paris is a French company. They do water seal too. Yeah, but check this out. Look at this. So this is what the human eye sees, and this is what the camcorder picks up. It changes the color, puts in oh. text like this is an illegal copy, illegal copy, illegal copy. But you're you're supposedly not able to recognize it when you're watching the movie. Right. And Except I think this is a great idea. Probably is subliminally like. <clears throat> well, that's the thing. So that was a horrible scenes. movie. So the cinematography was horrible. I don't know. I mean, it looked pretty, but for some reason, I just had this feeling that it was crap. Yeah, I, it looks cool though. This is a new technology that I've never seen before. Well, I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel like for me, I've stopped. I mean, I know last episode I basically proclaimed the fact that I was a pirate and yes. always will be. But um, I, I really don't enjoy watching the telescene uh, uh, movies, the movies where they plug into, like, the hearing impaired. Um, yeah, that's how they do it, right? They get the audio from the hearing impaired input, so they get a digital recording of the audio, and then they videotape it with a camcorder. Ah, yes. That's how they get such great quality right, right. of the audio. It used to be that it just sounded like a microphone picking up in a theater. Right. Now it's, like, perfectly clear audio. Mm -hmm. Um, but I can't. I can't stand the picture quality. There's something about it when you blow it up, especially like 42 inch. You just That's know it's. That, it's funny that you pirate like that. I don't ever download movies. I I just don't do it. I I saw Superman. It was amazing. Yeah, Superman was, was great. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I, I I have a Netflix account, so I just never think about doing that. We've gone into this before. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, this is a big deal because um, if they can stop the camcorder piracy, then the next step is really just the DVD rips. I mean, because that's yeah. But do the people care step. about this though? Do they really care about seeing? Like, I wouldn't this? watch a movie like that. Okay, well that's good then. I wouldn't watch a movie like that. I'm 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 very close to not watching a movie that's videotaped by a camcorder because yeah. it's just so they say they can roll this out into like all different types <laughs> of like. Movie theaters soon? I mean, or? now it's all just, you know, it's all experimental. They'll see how it works. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you have to test it in front of a lot of people because you never know if somebody's going to be able to perceive it. 
You know, they might not, you might not realize people well, can see it, and then all of a sudden people are, like, not liking a movie that other people like when they're not included. You know what I mean? Like, well, you never know what it is subconsciously. I wouldn't want to go see a movie. Like, if you went to see Star Wars opening day, right? Yes. Are you going to want to see something that's been modified, you know, kind of behind the scenes there's something being flashed that you don't know well, about? Well, but supposedly you're not supposed to see that, so who, yeah, how do you know? it's still, it doesn't, I want the You'll never original. know, but you'll never know. I don't care. But that's the question, is will you know? Yeah, probably not. And the bottom line is, probably not. Yes. But if you do, that's where the conundrum comes in. You see, that's where the interlocking chains don't lock. <laughs> like the gridlock traffic. Like the gridlock traffic. It's locking there's on a grid, grid and there's locks. There's locks. That's right. All right, next story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was inside. That was a total inside I was joke. stuck in gridlock Don't today. even worry about it. Keep going. Uh, next story, Tweak XP for Gaming, 1,683 people like this story, submitted by Crimson3000. Here are some great tips on how you can tweak Windows XP for video gaming. Basically, there's not a lot to say about this, except that there's a bunch of different registry tweaks that you can do. Yeah. And uh, it will save on memory, it will increase performance, and it's just was there saying there was a system overall. Was there saying there was a big performance increase? D, 20%. Because D, oh, dude, I'm so doing this today. Because D and D online is a hog. Is it really take up that much research? Well, it's just like wow, or not wow, but uh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to bring up wow. That's okay. Um, there, uh, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, Kevin. Yes. So D and D online, and that's like can't remember what was the other game? Star Wars Galaxies. There you go. Yes. That was a really well. Star Wars Galaxies wasn't too bad. Dude, but the graphics just weren't that you good. You couldn't even turn around without it being like chop, 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 chop. Dude, when did you play it? Like I know. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys are hardcore Star Wars guys. <laughs> well, we used to. Although I'm, sp I'm gonna try check out the new stuff. There's supposedly new, new oh, patches no. for it. Oh no, you're not going back <laughs> in that I'm world, Keith. No, him. He I might not. be. I'm really? Not sure. Well, at here's the, the thing. The here's the thing. Running Lucas around Arts, and people are dude, shooting at no, 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 no. Here's the thing. Lucas Arts. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say this story, but I will because I'm just slightly buzzed enough to say it. So LucasArts, you know Joshua used to play. Yes. LucasArts turns his account on as a press account. Free account for right. all of life. Right. right? I hosted a show yeah. called Swack about Star Wars Galaxies and that, that LucasArts wanted me to keep doing. And I said, just turn my account to a press account. We're not in the, uh, we, we're not, we, we don't like to turn people's accounts to press accounts. We rarely ever do it. What? And I'm like, F you in the a-hole. You totally did it to my friend. Come on. So now they're going to give me a three-month account, and then they'll uh, continue it. Because Dude, I don't want to pay don't 14. Get stuck into that world. I don't want to pay 12 bucks or 14 bucks to try it out. I already left it because it sucks. Did you, did you ever start playing WoW? I played WoW as long as we played. I mean, just for a couple times. Yeah, and then but you only got up to level... Yo, you, I was at level 8. You didn't sign back online, remember? No, you I was got level 8. Because we kept advancing and you didn't. Yeah, I was level 8 and you guys were like level 15s. And I was like, this is stupid. I'm done. I'm done. It's because the wolves because would kill you right away. Well, that was part of the problem was wolves. You have to go run around and kill freaking wolves. Well, Star Wars Galaxies is butterflies. Yeah, but I don't... I have. It's been a long time since I've been that <laughs> stupid and small. I'm just saying, D and D online. I'm just saying, D and D online. You start out by going and like getting some guys cask from Cobals, and you get you're in the stuff. I would like to try that. You should. You know, I did, I have been playing. Uh, is uh, the new? Well, I haven't beat it yet, but Keith already beat it. The new uh, Half Life Two. Oh, yeah. oh, I still haven't downloaded one. that. I got to download that off Steam. Dude, we have free accounts. I know. I got to download okay. it off Steam. I just haven't done it. I've been playing. I started playing Battlefield 2 again. What are we talking about? I don't know. That's uh, it. That's it for this edition. Let's talk quickly about Emails. our sponsors. Go ahead. We'd like to thank Cashfly for handling all of Dignation's distribution. Go to cashfly.com slash Dignation or use the coupon code Dignation. When you sign up, you'll get the first month's free to check out. Also, you had the domain for this week's uh, GoDaddy. Uh, uh, yes, winner. I did. Yes, you did. And hey, guys. Thanks. No, I did. I, no, I did. got I it. it. No, no, no. That's for... Oh, okay. Later. Uh, I got it. Here we go. Uh, GoDaddy, we registered firepitfriday.com. Uh, we're going to be using it live next week for a podcast for independent artists and indie artists. Uh, so it's a music uh, podcast, and it's called Firepit, firepitfridays.com. I thought that was cool. Yeah, okay. Firepit Friday? It's all right. Oh, come on. It's not all right. You thought it was awesome. I didn't. You picked anyway, it. I did. It's good. Uh, so we're Dignation fans. Uh, uh, it's a peace gym, dignation fan, and corporate break dancer. Cool. T shirt? Yes, T shirt. You had that one. Yes, I did. And I found uh, a LAN party. Said, hey guys, uh -huh. just recently had a LAN party. 
Uh, we are all Dignation fans. Here's a picture of our computers with Dignation wallpaper. Um, and basically, it's a picture of four dudes in a house. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> One guy's got a Dignation shirt, and the rest of them have Dignation wallpapers on the back. Yep. Gotta love the land party. Is that a cow in yep. the back? That's a cow. Yep. Looks like a small cow. Uh, small iron cow. Yeah. Anyway. Good times. Cool. Uh, so we have a little bit of news. Oh, yes. We're going to uh, Comic-Con. We are going to Comic-Con. That's all I got to say. Uh, we're going to do a live show down in San Diego, um, probably down in La Jolla. We're not sure quite yet where we're going to do the live show at a bar in, in uh, San Diego. If you have, if you know any bars, if you own a bar, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, email us at dignationfans at gmail.com and put in the um, subject uh, Comic-Con Bar. Mm -hmm. Um, we have a couple leads just because my parents grew up in San Diego and we, I have a family still in La Jolla, so we have a couple of leads on where we're going to go. Yeah. But uh, we are going to be in Comic-Con, so set the date I think Friday I'm, night at 7. I, okay, I'm flying out Friday. Flying out Friday. We're going to go to Comic-Con on Saturday. We're going to do the show Friday night, Comic-Con Saturday. I'm going to stay and do Comic-Con Sunday as well. And uh, the Geek Drum guys are going to be out there. Yeah, my friend Pasha's going to be out there. Pasha will be out there. It's going to be rocking in the Casbah. So keep on a lookout. We're going to have more details online, probably. Um, I don't know if we'll have something locked in by the time we do next week's show. Right. That's <laughs> it. We're done. So that's it for this week's <laughs> edition of Dignation. If you want to check out all of the stories we've covered in this episode, as well as all the past episodes, you can head over to dig.com slash users slash Dignation. Yes, and I'm back on the Mac. Feels You're back good. on the Mac, and... That's By the way, awesome. the MacBook uh, is great. You can talk about your it's, MacBook. It's black. MacBook. And it's great. Whatever. That's horrible. <laughs> right. uh, if you have any uh, pictures, Wait. please send us to... Go ahead. Finish it. Please send them to dignationfans at gmail.com. Uh, we love you know pictures with you wearing your shirts. Also, domains for the GoDaddy sponsorship, whatever. What's wrong, Kevin? Does this? Go. Go ahead. Go finish this off. Also, if you'd like to check out all the stories I've been digging throughout the week, you can head over to dig.com slash user slash Alex Albrecht. And I'm dig.com slash user slash Kevin Rose. Until next time. Hasta la pasta. Merry Christmas. Squirrel sickles. <laughs> <laughs> Say it real serious, like it's an actual product. Squirrel sickles. And squirrel sickles. Yancy. In a world, yeah, <laughs> in a world where squirrelsicles are extinct, four men. Dude, Superman was good. I'm two sorry. squirrels. I can't believe. Whatever, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, but I would like. People, to please! It's almost seven. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's almost seven. We gotta go. We gotta go. Curry. 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 He's eating curry. Ready? I'm talking to him. Curry. 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 Fuck, I'm drunk. This is bad. Are you really? <laughs> <laughs> Episode. Well, whatever. Let's do it. What number is this? 53. Yep. Go ahead. Oh, I start. <clears throat> Not this week. Well, this, week. Uh, this week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by GoDaddy.com, Cashfly.com, and Suicide Squirrels. Little mm. Naked Squirrel. <laughs>